What's up, everybody? It's your boy, Ooch. I'm here with my brother, Ooch. And the homie, Kai. And we are back again. Once again. How y'all doing today? Trifecta back again. Once again. I know I, uh... I said it twice, but you know, I had to let you guys know that yeah, like we're we're freaking back again once again. So how you guys doing today? I hope everyone's doing all right. Uh back at home. And I do have to say that uh that last week's episode did really well. So I have to give a big shout out to everyone over on YouTube because that episode did uh, quite a number. I don't know if it was the it was the thumbnail, if it was the title, if it was both. But uh huge shout outs to you guys at home, the full power fans. Because uh that, that put us over a thousand. That hasn't happened. A little 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 quick fact that I'm pretty sure that hasn't happened since like the first few episodes that we started this podcast. So hopefully this is an upward trend going forward. And just another reminder that uh the episodes will be moving to its own channel. Okay? There is already a Full Power Podcast YouTube channel that you... There is a link in the description that you guys can go and click on right now and subscribe and hit the bell for the alerts so that when we start uploading, which I'd imagine would probably be for episode 51, that's when we're going to officially make the move. So look out for that. But in the meantime, we got some comments and all that stuff to go over to just keep these conversations going because realistically, the only things to kind of talk about is things out of that last chapter and the movie which i feel like we've already beaten to an oblivion already so brother Ooch, how you doing today sir feeling good you know high energy I'm just getting through the day <laughs> couldn't go to the gym today though because of school and shit but you know oh damn gotta, you know school work school work gotta do that shit <laughs> yeah you have to but other than that it's you know living chilling that's good yeah kai what about you how you doing today been pretty good today's been uh nice and lax my day off so i'm also chilling nice speaking of which i gotta i gotta exercise that i have uh my job is good enough where i can i have pto to use so mm. oh nice <laughs> yeah yeah i uh all i have to do is make sure that it's a week ahead and then as long as it's not on a day where like I can't, I guess for whatever reason, then like nine times out of 10, it'll just auto approve. And I just have to let my supervisor know. I'm like, hey, I'm not gonna be here. See ya. <laughs> but just do it on important days, I guess. Right. For the most part, obviously. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, it's good. It's good to have those days though to yourself. Like that's why they call it oh, personal yeah. time off, you know? Because sometimes you get into the workflow so you know like it's a grind you know like and you do it so much and it's so frequent and it's constant and you just feel like a zombie at some point you just need to be like all right i need a little reset you know so hmm. it's all, it, all right. it, it, it's something that i never really like you know d like i never had that mindset until you know adulthood just smacked me in the fucking face you know what i'm saying <laughs> but that's a that's your that's your guys little uh side side piece of advice out there to take take a damn breather take care of yourself and you know all good vibes and just be easy all right you don't want to work your work yourself too too much because listen i have to do that shit with the freaking youtube videos i'm trying to keep a daily schedule sometimes admittedly i can't just because it's just like well, shit, when am I going to leave this corner and do anything else? You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is. But guys, let's not waste any more of you guys time because, again, we're full power out of control. We got episode 48 here today, and uh, we're going to be going off of what we were talking about last week. Just acknowledging some of you guys comments from last week. And uh, yeah, we're going to get give you guys our thoughts on some of these things. And who knows? Something might come out of this conversation, which it usually will, and it'll end up being the, the full episode. So we'll see what happens. So if you made it, you made it. So we're going to start with some uh, some praises because we got some nice praises um, 
for for this episode this person says this was beyond fire i'm calling it now super saiyan 4 goku people are feeling the super saiyan 4 shit uh this person says godlike episode thank bros the form will be called ultra instinct kakarot <laughs> wait whoa, whoa, what i don't think they were serious <laughs> but <laughs> What? <laughs> yeah, I don't think they're serious, but Ultra Instinct Kakarot. I mean, the one thing I could take from that is, like, imagine if Goku was like, like, like it, when he when they come back to the chapter and he's just like, Nah, I'm Kakarot. Oh, like what? <laughs> that would be that left. Would be weird. It would be very weird. Absolutely. That'd be super weird he wouldn't he wouldn't be able to though because he was a baby when he lost that he had no time to develop a personality as kakarot that's right yeah like it was it was so he was so young and then even when you apply the retcon to when grandpa gohan found him like i'm sure he still had like his you know his angry saiyan like attitude but yo you know what's crazy i don't know i don't know if this is true so i could be talking out of my ass right here so there's your fair warning right but i don't know if even that much is ever going to actually be retconned as well because from how i remember the story of how dragon ball starts like goku got sent you know on a on a space pod or saiyan pod onto earth and then when he was found, he was like a little, you know, runt. You know, he was like a spoiled brat kind of, you know, child that was just trying to like destroy things until he fell on his head, right? But now I'm thinking, okay, well, what if since they retconned all of that, essentially, and they sent him at a later point in his, you know, babyhood, right? Where he visually remembers his parents sending him off like originally if you look back goku was like sleep the entire time like there was no like hand on the glass moment you know what i'm saying like that shit did not happen in in, in like in the original in this new right, updated right, right. version he like they he has he has a moment with his with his parents as they send him off so so i'm wondering now like was he even like did the whole him falling on his head thing even happen or if it did happen did that you know just cause him to forget them for that time being rather than like he gets on earth and he was just like you know rotten to the core until that accident happened you know what i'm saying like he comes out the pod like a normal the, like the nice goku child you would expect him to be almost i guess is what i'm trying to say nah, i feel nah bro that wouldn't make any type of sense because then goku would remember every fucking thing <laughs> like like he has to fall on his head or else none <laughs> of this shit makes sense <laughs> yeah <laughs> yeah like the falling on the head part <clears throat> that could still obviously be there but i'm saying like him falling on his head and what would come after that is only like him forgetting where he came from and his parents and shit like all that all that kind of just goes dormant for all these years like 40 years or something right or 40 something right so then so then yeah like so basically like grandpa i'm saying grandpa gohan finds him and he's already a nice baby that's what i'm trying to say like he's not he's not like how he was portrayed in the original version of dragon ball where he came out and grandpa gohan was struggling with him until he fell on his head and then he was a nice child now i'm saying instead this retcon version he's already nice but then he still falls on his head and he just forgets his parents that's it i don't even think it matters if he's nice or is he's a fucking bullshit <laughs> 
Yeah, cause, cause like when you yeah. look at the when you look at Broly movie, when you see that that scene happen, he doesn't even seem like he's a little fucking shit either. That's 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 the that's that's what I got out of that. He seemed like a pretty obedient little baby for the most part. <laughs> I don't know, Kai. What do you think? I think that they're gonna hit us with the actually. <laughs> <laughs> The same way they did with him having a send off moment. Yeah. Yeah. Like that's that's I'm telling exactly. you. Exactly. Like, that is that's why that's why that's why I can think the way that I think about this fucking show because everything is actually everything. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> everything. Like it's like you think you think you understand this how this shit works? Well actually. And then they feed us whatever. Like, for every person that's doubting our current theories, let's say it happens. What the fuck are you going to do? You're just going to sit there and be like, shocked? Like, oh my god. I didn't see none of it. Like, come on. <laughs> people, people that doubt these predictions just haven't been here long enough. <laughs> like, that's, that's really what it is, right? Like, if you know, you know. Oh, exactly. Exactly. Like, listen, I'm just, I'm just, I'm taking, I'm taking my, my whole, like, like my, the, the, the real ones. I'm trying to apply that towards the full power podcast as well. We're trying to make sure that our listeners are also real ones. Okay. We're just trying to educate y'all fucking y'all ears and your, and your, and your, and your mental. Okay. Trying to widen that, that thought process. Okay, we got we got some that are already doing that, which is good. But we're trying to get everybody on this on this train here. Cause, you know, the faster the better. Cause I feel I feel I feel bad for for some people that are still on on some head assery type shit, which I think there might be some comments in here that we're gonna <laughs> we're gonna get to. You know what though, this whole thing with uh, you know, Goku versus Kakarot personality since he got triggered, right? I I still think, you know, he was way too young. He didn't have time to develop anything. But he could definitely feel that, you know, Saiyan instinct. And that's what's that's what's like coursing through his veins. And he's, you know, as Goku figuring out how to take that and what he should do with it. Because, you know, he's trying to figure out what he actually is. Mm. So I feel like that's uh that's that's a smart direction that they could take it but you know they can do whatever the fuck they want and they will and all i'm saying is that whenever they're done with this whole gas and bardock flashback if the next chapter ain't titled kakarot goes ape shit then i don't want to see it (laughs) yeah like in a way i don't even like i totally want what you're saying but I don't want them to deliver it like that because I want to be surprised still. Like I want to, I want to see. Because when you see a chapter title, oh, don't you worry, we'll be surprised. <laughs> oh, don't you fucking worry. <laughs> like when you when you see the chapter title saying Bardock vs. Gas, right? You're like, oh, we're we're going back and look what happened. The whole chapter they didn't they didn't even fucking show us shit until like the very end. <laughs> Which was cool in a sense because structurally they never did that before. Like, because you know how like the, you open up the chapter and it's like chapter whatever on the first page. And you just keep reading. This shit did that like more than halfway through. It was like in the yeah. page 30s or some shit already, I feel like. And yeah. I was like, wow. I was like, that was really cool. That was, that was almost kind of like a cinematic type shit. Cause that's that shit happens. I feel like with, like with movies especially and some TV shows, where like, like like uh like you know the episode will start, like with scenes 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 action whatever, and then, and then you get hit with the freaking Attack on Titan theme song. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god. So, yeah, that's that that's that's what I felt. When I when that shit happened with this manga chapter, so shit. Well, we're almost in April, so only got a few more weeks until that next chapter, man. That next chapter is gonna, I is gonna be pretty freaking 
It's, it's gonna be fucking awesome. I could, I could feel it. I feel like what I'm waiting for isn't in the next chapter. It's in the one following. after. Yeah. Probably. Well, mm, you you forget. Well, don't forget <laughs> that these chapters are long. Like they're forty around that. You know, forty average a page count because yeah. we have to wait a month. This shit ain't no weekly. Dude, if we had weekly chapters for Super, like, I wish we had them weekly, but at the same time, reading 18 pages is not enough for, for something like Dragon Ball, especially with the shit that's going on right now. Like, no. I, if, if they could do 40 pages a week, oh, all right. But that's, that's, too, ask, ask, that's asking for way too much because they they're not going to do that. <laughs> So here's a here's speaking of funny comments from what I said before, here's one that I'm sure you guys will get a kick out of. I want Kai's response first, then Brandon, you you can answer this after. Oh no. Okay. <laughs> My man said, I wonder if Goku is ever going to transform into Super Saiyan 3. Because he still hasn't mastered it, and we barely see him transform into Super Saiyan 3. Oh, <sighs> Why? <laughs> no. Just no. Just no? no. Okay. Nah. Brandon? <laughs> <laughs> I, I don't even know why that's a fucking question. <laughs> like, <laughs> like, come on, do the math, bro. Like, we ain't never seen Super Saiyan 3 again unless this nigga's teaching fucking lessons. Facts. <laughs> like, I'm gonna be straight up, bro. Like, them dreams is over, man. Yeah. This nigga, this nigga, you gotta think about it this way. This nigga's not going to sleep in Super Saiyan 3 to train himself like he did with Super Saiyan. Like, that, that's what Goku literally did before. With, oh, with yeah. Gohan. They literally, they literally was tw Super Saiyan 24 7 to get used to the, to the, or to increase their stamina with it or whatever and get used to I it. I like, Wow. Your memory is so crazy. You be remembering shit that I never would think you would remember. Like you would think, you would think like he, like if he actually truly wanted to master that shit, Super Saiyan three, that he would do something similar. I mean, you would think he would have an easy. He probably would have an easier time doing it too if he focused on it. But there's no point when when there's better techniques, aka Ultra Instinct, at this point, and now he's about to learn more about himself. So he's not he's not worried about Super Saiyan three. The only way, I'm, telling, I'm telling you, I'm telling you, the only way Super Saiyan 3 is ever going to be seen again is if he's teaching somebody that's just working on, like, a new Saiyan. Like, that's just working on leveling up, like, from Super Saiyan 1, Super Saiyan 2, whatever. That's the only way we're seeing that shit. And, yo, I want to point something out off of that, right? Wait, 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 real quick. Okay. Nah, you know when the next time we'll see it? Go Tanks. Hey. Yeah, but that I'm talking. We're talking about Goku. <laughs> yeah, but there's no reason we should be talking about Goku in Super Saiyan three. That's what I'm saying. But Go Tanks is the only person who will, will actually will, will uh will see Super Saiyan three in. Yeah. Happily, happily. Fuck. Yeah. Yeah. So, I will, I will. What I'll say off of that, right, to entertain this conversation, because. At the end of the day, Super Saiyan 3 is always going to be one of our favorite forms. Oh, 100%. 100%. But it, right? it's just not shown enough. But, you know, or favored, I say. Right. Like, if anybody is, if, if you're going to expect anybody to ever use that shit on a consistent level, it's going to be the kids. Because they used it on screen low key. I, well, actually, no, never mind. Because they got, they, 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 it was on. And then they had fun a little bit, and they got absorbed. So never mind. <laughs> you know, never mind. honestly, so they the, used honestly, it more than bro, once. Yeah. Honestly, the only like, and this is just outside the box, and I don't know if this will ever even happen, but this is like, this is like one of those situations where they're fighting somebody where Super Saiyan is the only power that works. I said this. I said the exact so, same thing so you just so, said. So, so that's the only way we'll ever get like Goku maybe wanting to. To pursue and and master Super Saiyan three since that's his highest level state in Super Saiyan, technically. 
So, you know what I mean? That's the only way. Only way. Yeah. Otherwise, Until we're not really going to... There's time. no... Uh, otherwise, yeah. we're not seeing that shit because there's no point. Unless we're seeing it from the kids. Right. And 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 a part of that is Kefla and Kale. Because yep. that's, you know... They're among that... Yeah. Yeah. Type. That's, I mean, Goku showed them that shit, so... Yeah. Right. So... And 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 here's an, and here, so back to what I was trying to say was yeah. that we're now approaching a a time in this story where Dragon Ball and its and its transformations and its techniques are kind of like establishing reestablishing themselves as something that we've really never seen before because now we're we're diving into lore right and that's huge because what's 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 a real takeaway from this is the fact that for the first time ever goku is going to like actually remember something that from where from like almost like a past life that he went through but clearly don't remember because he fell on his head obviously right and now that that memory is coming back to him you know it's implied that okay now he's really gonna start accepting himself as who he is he's for for all these years that he's been on earth he's been lost in the sauce like yeah he's aware that he was a saiyan but he never really accepted it he has always been goku of earth he's never been goku of planet vegeta he's never been kakarot of planet vegeta the only time this man ever acknowledged himself as such is at the end of Broly. And that was that was fan service. I'll just put it out there right there. That was 100% fan service because my man literally that was that was paying homage to the original shit. Because not once did Broly scream Kakarot. Why why would he need to? It's not the same. The 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 the, the current freaking optimal best version of broly ain't like the legendary classic john that dude knew who he was that dude was mad because he was next to him in in their freaking baby johns and this dude didn't let broly sleep and that's the only reason why he hated him <laughs> and i yo i'm like the i am the broly dude okay there's no one that has any other bits of evidence that could tell me otherwise why, like explain why original classic broly hated goku so much there's no there's nothing else that happened there's literally nothing else that happened so either way that is the, like we are now entering a part where this dude is really about to dig deep within himself and have some sort of self-realization that in order to fully unlock his his own inner potential is to accept who he's been this entire time that he hasn't acknowledged at all and that's what's going to help him kind of you know do whatever comes next and you know what just just jumping off that i just like this this quote just like popped up in my head because we we were talking last episode about how you know the potential of the super saiyan 4 could be brought about through you know through mixed with ultra instinct and like all that shit you know and i just what you said about you know him him accepting like who who he really is as a saiyan you know a savage type of people it just brought me back to that line in uh in gt with super saiyan 4 goku was like I, I i don't remember if it was the first time he used the form but he was definitely wasn't used to it and he says something along the lines of, yeah, sorry, but when I'm in this form, I just lose control. Oh, yeah. I'm sure that'll come into play. Because, I mean, this is this is, this is is a common thing that happens in this show. They get something new, everybody gotta get used to that new shit, you know? Yeah, but this was like, this was him, you know, I'm talking about it, like him actually losing control. Like, you know, being being a little bit more broly, a little bit more savage because he's more intact with his roots. Right. You know, he might take it a little too far because, you know, he's Goku. He doesn't want to hurt anybody past what they need to, but he might. You know, listen. Here we go. Something. Here we go. Okay. 
this goes back to what I was saying, I think, two episodes ago. Maybe three, but definitely a few episodes ago. When we was talking about how the Saiyans were actually feared. And they just didn't want to get rid of them just to fucking get rid of them. There's a reason why they they had there has to be a bigger fucking reason. Listen, they were destroying planets left and right. They're, they're they're bullying other planets, killing and ravaging all this shit, right? They made sure that this particular one was dealt with. I feel like even in within their own history, there's something that's missing that not even the Saiyans that we last seen even are aware about i i i'm i i fully feel like the the, the saiyans are actually on some kryptonian level shit okay they are superman that's the fear that is the fear i just i, I say that so that y'all can visualize what the fuck i'm talking about and you want to know something funny imagine now this is petty right but imagine Imagine if Toriyama saw Superman versus Goku, the death battle. Imagine if he saw that shit, and he you goes, think he didn't? "No, but imagine." I just want because you never know. Because sometimes people don't. There's a lot of people out there that don't watch shit that is like you know theirs or whatever. It's I don't know. It's weird. But listen, imagine if man's watch that shit or someone at Toei, right? That's involved in all this Dragon Ball stuff. And they saw Goku lose, and they're just like, hmm. He got obliterated. Because, listen, they're both, at the end of the day, they are both written completely different. Cal L, my man literally only, and this is the, this is the easiest way to just put that shit to rest. And this is how I, this is how I, end, this is how I start and end that conversation every single time. Is that soup? only has to be as strong as he needs to be period goku always being written as the underdog every single time he always gets to that point but that just means at that at that rate like there's time that needs to happen in order for him to even do the catching up if soup wanted to deal with it done it's over that is literally how it is but what if all this retconning and shit now. What if they're like, you know what? Let's make these fucking sayings like that. Let's let's make it like that. Let's make it on some shit that no one's even going to freaking see coming. Because honestly, it's just like, why would Beerus... Like, he's old, right? He's been around. He's probably, he's probably seen what the fuck was the reason why he told Frieza to fucking end them, son. And that's the thing too. Like, why? Why would he do that? Why would a god of destruction need to wipe out? A, why need to send someone else to wipe out a whole planet of you know fucking apes? Because like, they weren't threatened. even strong back then. The future. I'm telling you. Right. Maybe they got. Maybe got. They got one of them future balls. Uh, what? <laughs> what the fuck is talking future about the, ball? the future He's balls? He's talking about man. like the orb. Oh, the orb. <laughs> <laughs> wow <laughs> yeah but the, like the, the, like the you, crystal ball you, yeah okay crystal there it ball. is the crystal ball my man yeah, said future yeah. ball the future, the future ball <laughs> but you see what i mean like there's always a reason behind an action you know like even even to the dumbest of levels like criminals that rob banks are doing it because they want money to then go and do something else right that's on the most elementary level of understanding if a god of destruction whose job is to destroy in order to keep a balance in the universe why would he target a specific race because he must know something that no one else does he probably knows that the root the root sayings from like the beginning of their existence was a fucking problem. He, I'm telling you, it's probably gonna tie back to Yamoshi whenever they decide to bring this motherfucker up, right? In the actual story, for real, for real. 
and this dude what, like the true super saiyan the true like, the first one the, yeah that's what i'm saying the first yeah. one i'm telling you that that is the only sense i can pull from this because why why if 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 the saiyans themselves all they all work off of a class system where if if you're based off of, you're judged based off of your power level at birth at fucking birth okay and look what they did to broly they were scared of themselves because of how strong this fucking this motherfucker what the hell this power level what the it's over 10 trillion get the throw them out these two imagine a version of that where beerus young young ass beerus fucking millions of years ago or some shit he's over here fucking around with champa and then they see the saiyans just birth right they just they just they just they just come up and then they see they start watching these motherfuckers and they're like wow they're fucking strong like dude there's no reason no reason why they there's no other reason that would make sense for them to just to i'm not gonna accept like oh he just randomly decided to, to choose the saiyans as to be the ones to to get got i i'm not gonna believe that i feel like there's a there's there's a higher reason and i feel like the saiyans when they see and that's the that's the part of it see because they already they already started transforming into fucking monkeys and even that was a problem okay now imagine they learn they truly learn how to harness that power like yamoshi did exactly i mean yeah but i mean they would have to get to that point or so they would have to like there would have to be a trigger event for them to go back to him yamoshi how much goku just got triggered how much you want to bet how much i know how much you want to bet that but who then, who's gonna be the, the deciding factor to to say all this shit that we want to hear? Like, is it gonna be like beers? It's gonna, gonna have be... to be, yeah. It's gonna have to be a higher deity that's gonna freaking spill the beans. Like, they, ha it would has to be. Like, beers is about to be like. There's a reason why I decided to wake up because apparently I'm still looking for like the saying still or whatever. The true. Shit. How much want to bet <laughs> that you think if, he's still alive or did he die? I don't know. I'm, I'm sh I don't know that much. I'm not gonna speculate on right yeah. now. It's too early for that. Right, right. right. But for what's currently happening, I'm telling you right now. I bet you if Goku goes through what we're literally laying out for them to just write in, because it makes too much sense and they owe us so much money here, <laughs> right? I'm telling you, Beerus is gonna have an ear twitch he's gonna fucking feel it when it happens and he's probably the roar. or what no, the no roar. he said the roar the roar the ro whether the it's the roar or whether when when goku finally just the look like gets his shit Could be the is, look. he's gonna be napping he's gonna be like <laughs> he gonna he gonna he gonna oh and you know what would be, you know what would be like amazing about that scene if it does happen? It would prove that this does not only go back to the tournament of power, it goes all the way back to when they started Super. Why so? This was the moment that started it. What? Beerus waking up and starting Super and all of this Super Saiyan God everything else. This was the this was the first the version of Super Saiyan God or of the Saiyan race that he was looking for initially. Oh, okay. I think I understand what you're trying to say. Yeah, I know exactly what he's trying to say. Because after so, the, oh shit. So that means this goes all the way back to the first episode of Super. When he decided that to would be an amazing tie-in i think yo i think low-key I, <laughs> I think beerus beerus's interpretation of what he calls super saiyan god is the true super saiyan exactly that, yo, that's what, I that's what kai's trying to say this. that's what kai's trying to say 
Yeah, like this new version that we've been talking about that could come up, I'm pretty sure that's what Beerus is looking for. He's going to get that ear twitch for this and be like, this is what I was looking for. And that's, we've been waiting Yo, this whole this time. Is crazy. <laughs> we've been waiting this whole time. Yo, that shit literally goes over niggas' heads. Because I, I just thought, <laughs> I never thought of it that way, to be honest. Yes. But it makes sense. It's, it makes sense. For me, like Uchi, Uchi laid it out because he said that Beerus is going to get the ear twitch and be like, ah. And I, I, as soon as he said that, I was like, damn, that means this goes back to the beginning they've been plotting on this i wonder if they really have been or if it's just this is all accidental no i, I mean you gotta you gotta think like, imagine though like they're just like oh wow oh okay this works let's just do it like this <laughs> yo fuck that i mean shit. and we're still getting no money out of it of course <laughs> we do so much we do so much dissection and just analysis on this shit to the point where it's criminal like we feel like we're just getting <laughs> robbed because we see this shit happen as it's happening and it's like we're hey, contributing just... to the story low-key you know i got a i got a side question right because we were we were previously on the topic of um the saiyans you know, there, there's got to be some type of secret to the Saiyan race that we don't know about yet. Right. And I'm sure a higher deity will tell us at some point. That'd be that'd be dope. But what I'm wondering is if the Saiyans are so powerful that they need to be gotten, you know, taken care of. And Beerus ordered it. What the fuck happened to Frieza's people? They are the ones who I think are the true strongest. That race is out of control. But there's only one family worth of them? Right. Where the fuck they What at? happened to that them? That is crazy. They got wiped out first? Like, where did they go? Whew. Yeah. I, Imagine a whole planet of Arcosians. Nah, but then th this is where they can implement Planet Cooler. This is where they could implement. <laughs> oh, my God. Yo, no, Planet Cooler. Planet Walk-In. Nah, cube. Planet Walk-In. Planet Cube. I can't. Dude, that's no, but that is like once, once, once Cooler comes into play, bro. Like it's gonna set a new bar for them, bro. He better. But I that, hope, dude. That's a great. That's a great point to point to point out because where the fuck they at? Like, where's his home planet? Right. Is it destroyed? We, we've seen, we've seen the Namekians. We know that Majin Buu is a being, not a race. Mm. What the fuck happened to Frieza's people? Right. That's important to note. Yeah, uh, because Majin Buu's a being, not even a race. Uh, imagine if he was a race, that would be trouble. Broken. That would be trouble. I mean, they they'd be like the Namekians. They'd end up like fucking turning each other to candy, consuming each other, and just be one. <laughs> uh -huh. Yeah, that does. Uh huh. Wow. About that. That's crazy. I mean, but who says they they can't fucking come back with that shit again? That's and that mm. that's literally it would be Kid Buu anyway. So. But the freezer shit, yo, they could come back at any time. A recreation of Kid Boo, not Oob, my, not Oob. Does a recreation of Kid Boo again? Original, that would be dirty. Yeah, that's that the be dirty. original. That's the Majin Boo. Yeah, that's the that's one it. that would, absorbed the fucking the the Dai Kaioshin, and that's yeah. how he turned fat. Mhm. Mm I want to see. I would want to see Kid Boo again, though. I know. That's what I would want to see. Exactly. It's so it's so funny when you think of how. That story of Dragon Ball Z with Majin Buu, it was all these loops and bounds to just get back to his original actual form, which is the Kid Buu that you're talking the about. The same way Goku's going through Super Saiyan 1s, 2s, 3s, reds, blues, purples, greens, just to get back to Super Saiyan 4. And dude, okay, okay, and this, is, this is the other thing that I wanted to say that I almost forgot to, to bring up, is that... I also feel like I've mentioned this in previous episode. I can't pinpoint exactly which one, obviously, because there's a lot of conversation that goes on. But all of these forms that we've seen over the years have literally not been the true Saiyan, like Super Saiyan. Like, I feel like they don't fucking know, man. They just they don't know what a real Super Saiyan is. I'm pretty sure the Super Saiyan is when they look like a fucking monkey, son. Like, it just, it, it just, it just makes way too much sense. Like, I don't know why or how 
like the like the gold hair happens and like the green eyes and all that shit right that is right. like that is like it, it, that's like something that they were just able to just do it's like something that they were able to like i guess deep like try to force themselves out but instead of getting like some sort of ape like form they got super saiyan what well, we understand that super saiyan and then they push a little bit further they get super saiyan 2 sparkles confetti whatever they push a little farther now the eyebrows now they now their physical features are starting to change the hair is going crazy super saiyan 3 right of course there's power boost and all this shit but notice how the higher they try to force push they can never maintain it naturally for too long and that's why goku stopped using super saiyan 3 because it put too much strain on him see i feel like if a saiyan goes through their natural transformative states they can they're gonna hold that shit with no problems if they if that's the thing that's that just brings it that it, it, it tie this ties everything together because they're this destructive warrior race that they can lose they like they can lose their control and 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 it, it'll, it'll literally go ape shit when they are in these great ape states and that's how they can fuck up other planets but imagine a dude who controls that shit it's over Th that is why if they are able to maintain that shit and what we know as super saiyan 4 that is the true super saiyan right there that is it goes from base to that that is the real shit right there and then if they want to start kaioken plus fucking whatever or ultra instinct those are stacks they're or techniques both. you sure why not have a fucking super dragon ball heroes happy fucking birthday you could stack this shit <laughs> like, it doesn't matter my whole point is that i feel like that is the true like path of power that saiyans are supposed to be going on this super saiyan 2 3 shit like like are you serious like that, that, that <laughs> it, it, it's it, it's just it's just like this is how i visualize it right there and also the other thing is that you know how they're gonna re redesign it i'm sure it'll still look like super saiyan 4 but they have to make it look different do y'all have y'all seen what wukong is yes they goku's gonna look like wukong because yo right goku is based right. dragon ball z is based off the 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 what is that shit the 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 tale of the oh my god it's like some folk folklore shit it's based oh, yeah. it, it's based off of like uh, a monkey king and the dude's name is son goku huh. he's he has a he's had a staff already they did all that shit they they and it's an adventure and all this shit it's like it's like a chinese mythology shit bro and i can't think of the freaking name but i'm sure people in the chat the, are gonna know what, what i'm talking about the journey, journey to, to the, the west. west yeah dude he's gonna look like wukong he's gonna have he's gonna have fucking hair on his face he's gonna have all this the hair is gonna be just like how super saiyan 4 and all that shit he yo this motherfucker is gonna be broken beyond belief People are not ready for that. Wukong Goku? Oh, 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 oh. it's over. <laughs> it's people worry about Super Saiyan Four. No, this is Wukong, son. <laughs> Yo, I'm telling you, it, 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 it's gonna be ridiculous. That's what they're scared of. That's what Beerus and all of them. That's why they wanted to get rid of these motherfuckers because they're like, "Yo, if 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 any one of these dudes." ends up like that guy i'm sure yamoshi or whoever they got it from they saw it they're like we can't have that because they could rival us they could challenge us i'm telling you wukong goku all these motherfuckers that decide they're gonna go wukong they they i'm telling you they're gonna be able to take the gods out if they wanted to because mm. mm -hmm. why else would you be so threatened you know
Things to think about. What else we got here? Questions, questions, questions. Okay, so let's see. This one. Super Saiyan 4 about to come for the good old fan service. And if they make it exclusive to Goku, we won't get Super Saiyan 4 Vegeta or even Broly. I don't think that's going to happen. Mm, now, yeah. now here I, I wanted to mention something regarding uh, regarding Vegeta. Okay, this man's already eons behind Goku in seven different ways. I don't need to explain to anyone. If you really need me to explain it to you, I'm so sorry. However, <laughs> he's about to get another L because Vegeta has always been Vegeta, the Prince of All Saiyans. But now Goku's got this Kakarot side. He's about to unleash. Really? You see, but. I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't be surprised if, I wouldn't be surprised if Vegeta over here, you know, if, if he unlocks something similar. Oh, he'll, in, he'll in, unlock in something else. It, it, it won't be it, enough, though. Yeah, no, it's not going to be enough, but it's, like, the only way it's going to, he's going to tap into his shit is by realizing what Goku's doing. Oh, because, he will. Because, because it's kind of funny, because Vegeta no, back in no, the day, no, they... Vegeta, Vegeta back in the day was always about, like, understanding, like, ape form and all that shit and like they gotta you know. they gotta pay homage to Bulma's tech and just let her build the flux waves no, <laughs> the flux no. Waves. <laughs> fuck, fuck, fuck the flux waves. waves nah nah if anything if any, I wanna see that, that shit again that shit was so funny if anything if anything this will this, <laughs> this will make Vegeta like tap into his old roots himself and maybe his he, ass might make a fucking a, a moon himself again and fucking throw that bitch in the there and some shit will happen He'll look at that shit and be like, and try and remember, and then he'll transform. <laughs> it's gonna take him so long to get to that point, though. No. Yo, but listen, I know that Goku's going through all this shit right now, but like, just like you guys are saying, like, like a, a, a quick reminder, Vegeta, because I just recently watched the Ultra Ego video that Geekdom did, right? Very good video as always, and and honestly, the, 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 this is. A lot of his videos are, are I feel like are, are required watch like 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 required viewing especially when you're trying to like educate yourself and understand things a little bit more and better because he goes over so much just to get to that point and the one thing that I remembered is that Vegeta okay this guy is it, the whole the whole idea behind his whole ego form is not is not to to make it sound bad but vegeta has had probably obviously everyone knows some of the most if not the most character development out of any, any character in dragon ball z or dragon ball period right so with that in mind he specifically points out that in the resurrection f movie when remember when frieza was like oh yeah vegeta come come back to the dark side type shit right and there was that moment where Vegeta was like thinking about it. Mm. But what did he do? He said, no. I got to keep this guy around because he's my measuring stick. Everybody has their purpose. Yeah, it's the ego. It's, it's, the, e ego. <laughs> it's the ego, right? Yeah, he had to drop his shit. So he knows, like, he knows when to check his ego. He's He hasn't been this prince of all sayings like he was in Z. Where he was like super arrogant and... He thought that because of who he was by by where he came up from because his dad was the fucking king he just figured that i'm automatically the shit i'm automatically the best and that's not what the fuck my man vegeta had to learn the hard way goku had to smack this motherfucker he got smacked up by frieza too he got smacked up by the androids he got smacked up by goku low-key again he had majin he smacked up himself, blew his ass up, literally came back. And at that point, that's when he finally was like, damn it, Goku, you got this. You're better than me. Boom. Huge, huge growth spurt for this guy. It took a lot of him. His ego was in check. He checked himself. So I feel like. With seeing Goku go through all this shit, I mean, right now Vegeta's obviously out for the count. Like he's, he gave him his energy. Let's not forget about that. That's terrible to remember, of course. Right. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, he sees if he sees what Goku's going through, 
And let's just say, let's go back to that moment where like Goku's having like a traumatic fucking like oh, out of body experience. And what Brandon said last week, he's like, yo, what if that fucking tail just fucking pops right out or some shit? Listen, just because just because they're going down these paths, what makes you think the fucking paths don't? It's a fucking cycle. You see, Vegeta's not stupid. <laughs> like Vegeta, 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 he remembers his whole childhood as to where Goku doesn't. So as soon as if, if any tail pops out or like, you know, monkey shit, see, shit, it, monkey geez, Vegeta, do. Vegeta might even give Goku advice Facts. so he could tap in and then Vegeta will feed off of that. You see, at some point. one hand washes the other. These two are inseparable at this point. They can do, they could go down there fucking, oh, we got go Vegeta on the God of Destruction path and motherfucking Goku's on the inch of the Ultra Instinct path with the angels and shit. None of that matters. They're, 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 they're learning techniques right now. Okay. They're learning techniques. And then when they realize, oh shit, we could fuck them up with our own shit. Oh, that changed the game. One, one, right. one, one sees the tail come out. The other one's going to want that tail to come out. And, and Vegeta's could be purple. Who cares? Who cares? They, they have all sorts of different unique shit. Listen, if Goku Black could be pink, fuck it. Why not? <laughs> so there's more to this. Uh, uh, making it a Saiyan's true potential makes more sense and be used as a base for their new techniques. Like Goku has been doing the whole arc. Stack UI on other forms. Right. Yeah. Um, also, this is the selling point. When you go Great Ape, Super Saiyan 4 or not, it's all anger and emotion. Like I said. So it would make perfect sense for mastering Ultra Instinct. By mastering the strongest emotions Goku will experience ever, the memory of his parents, his rage and his Great Ape. Or his rage as Great Ape. Because if he can control those emotions and power, he has peaked Ultra Instinct. Also, Vegeta's Ultra Ego using Super Saiyan 4 can be the complete opposite. Where he lets the battle craze rage take control. Get that Saiyan blood pumping, that's how Ultra Ego works. And this shows the yin-yang analogy for Goku and Vegeta. Pretty much. <laughs> You want to add anything to that Kai or? Nah, it's good. All right. Uh, let's see. Uh, <laughs> this dude said, ha ha and the hard truth, emotional damage. <laughs> <laughs> what? He said, Toyotaro knows the fans. Come on. Super Saiyan 4 white Ozaru instinct, please. <laughs> Wait, what? Yes. <laughs> went hard. Super Saiyan 4 White Ozaru Instinct. I mean, Wait, he... that's what he wants the name to be, or that's what he's just saying? I don't know. Probably both, maybe. Cause... Where's the emotional damage? <laughs> I don't know. I just read it like, the emotional damage. That's, I just, that's how I read it. <laughs> that's how I read it. Make it funny. I don't know. Uh, okay, so here we go. <clears throat> we got some time left. This is kind of far-fetched, but for me, I would like for them to not give Goku a new form until they do a really big arc, so it's that more special. But imagine, Goku get Primal Instinct, which would be a white Super Saiyan 4, and Vegeta could get a Primal Ego. That would be Super Saiyan 4, but black fur with a purple tint and the Ultra Ego look. That shit would be so cool. But if they were to do this, I would wait for a bigger arc, like a super version of the Black Dragon arc or something completely new. Let me tell you, my boy. We ain't waiting no longer, man. That's facts. I was about to I say I don't know that who shit. the fuck you are, man. You gotta chill the fuck out. We've been waiting for years. <laughs> <laughs> what the fuck you mean? Wait, another arc, nigga. Nah, the weight is unacceptable. What the fuck you mean? Another, if I hear that shit again, <laughs> the fuck? 
<laughs> I ain't waiting another arc. Arcs. Uh, uh, they ain't even fucking back yet. This <laughs> is doing manga. Shit. Kai. Nah. Yeah, next question. Yep. Shit. Okay. <laughs> yep. Okay. <laughs> Um, this person responded. There was a, so this was the dude I was telling you. Toriyama said long ago that Super will not have new transformations. Uh, <laughs> All we are getting are just power ups. <laughs> Another <laughs> thing. Okay. <laughs> what the fuck is going on? <laughs> uh, bro. Yo, I'm sorry, there's was... no way I can take that seriously. There's just no way. <laughs> the, man, what the fuck? I got. <laughs> I tried yeah, holding yeah. a serious face. I tried holding it. I'm not. Yo. <laughs> the reason why I'm laughing for context is that man said, Toriyama said long ago. That super will not have new transformations like we we just have to believe it like oh <laughs> he said that and it's like it's, it's not like he it's not like man's has forgotten shit or just changed things all up together like like you never mm. been hit with the actually before <laughs> <laughs> and like actually. and and i don't know about you but um super saying god Super Saiyan Blue. I mean, <sighs> let me just keep reading this because there's more to it. Oh man! Another thing is Super is not a con <laughs> Super is not a continuation of Z. It's a story based on a ten-year gap between the end of Boo and the World Tournament where they all meet with. This things in mind, I feel the end result will be disappointing. Okay, so first we we know where super takes place, right? And I'm pretty sure they're well aware that they know. Well, so, you know what's funny? Do they know? <laughs> because they, they're writing a lot right now. They're trying to squeeze in all these arcs right now. But, uh, the point is, uh, that hasn't stopped them from doing all this crazy shit that they've been doing and going through and all these new power-ups that they've, they've attained and acquired and all these new techniques. So I don't think that's a good way to think about it. Don't let this 10 year gap fool you. Because they could honestly do literally whatever they want, and they are still gonna. There's still gonna be a way for it to still make sense and flow into the end of Z, just fine. So, mm. Kai, any anything to add to that? I I agree with that. I just uh, I. I am worried that uh, the ending will be lackluster. Mm. I feel like uh, the ending you know, of Super, especially no, yeah. Arc. Well, no, 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 no. I'm, oh, I'm, I'm talking about like yeah, I'm talking about like everything because you know we technically speaking we should know where it ends unless they're gonna keep it going. So if they're gonna give us the same ending, I'm gonna be tight. Like, as you know, in like what? you know what I mean? Like, like as if as. They close everything with that same tournament. You know what I mean? Like, they don't expand no. past it. Uh, uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. Well, yeah. So, I think that when we finally get to that point. We have to go past it. They, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. If we don't go past it. If we don't go past it and that's the end, I'm sick. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I, I, so, okay, here's, here's the thing, right? Like, we all remember the end of Z being a happy ending. Goku and Oob, Oob flying on his back, and, they're, and they don't tell you where they're going. Right? Mm -hmm. Right. So who's to say that, oh, okay, yeah, happy ending, we're finally here, and boom, 
someone's fucking interjects their fucking shit right there and they already have some problems that they gotta worry about they don't waste no time that you can see, they can retcon that whole shit they could or, not like they, you know they could add shit to it they're not the exactly retcon but that's what i'm saying just like just it'll just be, there, it there'll be some additions they're gonna have to i mean look, hey they already retcon some things look at how goten and trunks look Go look at oh, how they man. look at the end of Z. They don't look anything like that. They're not fucking worried about how they're going to go into Z, bro. That's what I'm trying to help people understand. Is that all of this shit that we're making sense out of what's currently going on with Goku and remembering him, his Saiyan heritage and how the fuck did Bardock defeat Gas? Did he do it? Like, the idea that bardock was a secret like od saiyan is definitely a thing because my man took his scouter off okay guess what the scouter was also used for to listen in on motherfuckers conversations frieza you don't think frieza was fucking keeping an eye on these motherfuckers making sure they were all in line that they were all in check and and you know that that was true because well, look what happened when they was flying back to to planet vegeta and they were having he was having a conversation with the dude in the freaking thing and he was like oh your scout is on like yo, be careful what yo, you talk about you, you know how you say one thing and then it just takes off yeah or you just said something that triggered me imagine that bardock took that scouter off and it recorded the audio of the fight with gas as we know and frieza heard that shit and reported it to beerus and that's the reason that he was like, oh, no, you know, someone went ape shit. No, no, no. That can't stay. They got to go. Mm. Yeah. He what asked if Bardock permission. was the okay. reason they got wiped out? He asked permission. He's like, can I, can I end the right. scenes? Oh, right. <laughs> Dude, we still have for that to be true. We just need to see how this man pulled up, pulled it off. Exactly. Up. Because, yes. So, that's why I say these next two chapters is really... Right. It's really all the information we need. Right. So that's all I'm trying to say, guys, is that y'all gotta y'all gotta stop worrying about how things will just kind of flow into end of Z because they are not worried. And when I say they, I'm talking about Toyotaro and Toriyama. And yeah, the rest like of Toei. They understand the power and the clout that the Dragon Ball franchise has. They don't they know that making mistakes or not being authentic to, you know, things that don't matter in in the long term of things, they know it they know it's not going to affect it, so they don't care. Like you guys really think that a guy like Toriyama who's who's publicly said that changes like hair color don't fucking matter to him? You really think he's gonna give two shits <laughs> if if what he's writing like he squeezed in a whole nother arc. Do you understand that? I did the math on episodes long ago. And I did the math as to where everything was happening within the 10 year gap that everybody's so worried about. And once they hit a certain point in Moro, they already it, it already broke everything. Like, when Moro was happening, that was when shit, like, fell off. As far as, like, all of it being linear and making sense. And it's all snug and, you know. No. That's it. That It's done. It's done. And then, guess what? They gave us all this whole new arc. And then the movie's happening. Presumably. And look at that movie. Pan is at least, like, a few years old. Old enough to talk. Old enough to walk. Probably old enough to go fucking Super Saiyan, okay? And the kids are not kids no more. <clears throat> they are not immortal children. The meme is dead. And even Trunks has fucking blue hair. This is how much of a shit they don't give. They say, fuck it, fuck it, fuck <laughs> it. Because we're making money, money, money. We're all going to read it. We're all going to watch it. And that's how it goes. And along the way, if it makes sense, and as long as it's fucking entertaining and some cool shit happens, that's the takeaway that people are going to go. That's how it goes, man. This is Dragon Ball 101. Yeah. 
Like I went from I went from not giving a shit about this movie from the beginning because of the animation to I can't wait to see this fucking movie. I cannot wait to see all these people start riding on Gohan again and being like, yeah, that's that's my boy. Oh yeah, when he defeats Cell again. Oh yeah, that's the Gohan. You motherfuckers. Get the go back. Go back. We don't want your asses over here no more. You know what I would do? <laughs> Brandon, the standing ovation, the slow clap. Uh, Fuck, man. Exactly, what I'm gonna do. Either way, that's about all the time we have this week, guys. Brandon, you got anyone, anything to say to the people at home? Nah, I already know. Stay safe, stay clean, take your showers, you know. Gym time, you know, physical, <laughs> mental, you know. Have a good one. It's simple. <laughs> Kai Kai Man catch us at the next chapter Kakarot goes ape shit <clears throat> I'm waiting I'm gonna look at the At the date Because it usually comes out on like I'm waiting Okay you know what This chapter better come out on the 19th Because That's a Tuesday And that that's the week it usually comes out because and that's like and that's like a couple more episodes that actually might be the debut of the new channel episode that would actually be kind of fire that'd work out perfectly but in any case speaking of episodes and discussions and all that use the gmail fullpowerpod at gmail.com hit us up with your comments concerns and possible discussion topics for future episodes guys and make sure you guys are answering the polls Make sure you guys are liking the video, subscribing, subscribing to the new channel, which is there's going to, of course, be a link in the description below, as always. And like what said, make sure you guys are taking care of yourselves. May the power take you a lot little right here on this podcast. Stay safe, stay clean, and stay the hell inside. We're going to see y'all next time.